everything you hear, everything you heard from Mac Jones right there, that's just that's regurgitated. Yeah. It's regurgitated right from the top, right well, from you know Bill what? Belichick. And here's what I don't mind about it. I don't mind about it. He's a rookie. And so when you walk in there, I do need, I do think you need to march lockstep with a legendary coach. You do need to follow that. You can venture out oh, as you get over. I know you don't. Yeah, I know you yeah, don't. Yeah. You can venture out later. But you, him being a rookie and being the quarterback, listen, that's the reason that they were so comfortable with giving him the job as early as they did. They could have waited a few weeks before yeah. putting him in that position. But when you see a guy that walks in there and he's marching lockstep with the vision and the agenda or the organization, that goes a long way. Yeah. Yeah, listen, Mac Jones has been sensational on the field and off, I mean, as a rookie. Dan, I'll start with you. Do you think Bill Belichick has won his last Super Bowl in New England? No. I think Bill Belichick can win a Super Bowl with Mac Jones. Um, I think Mac Jones is the best rookie quarterback that I have ever seen wow. since doing this job when it comes to knowing where to go with the football, when to go with the football, and how to throw that football. And I think that is going to be a huge reason why that they can win a Super Bowl together. Molly, I look at it in comparison to where the Patriots are right now and the people that they're going to have to beat out to get to the Super Bowl, basically out of the AFC. And it's focused on the financial freedom that a really good quarterback has going, is going to afford them over the next four or five years. We've heard that story before, right? And so I think of like the Buffalo Bills. Well, Josh Allen just got paid, so they don't have the financial freedom that New England does for the next four or five years. I think of the Cincinnati Bengals. They got a one-year lead because they're going to have to break off Joe Burrow. The Chargers, they're going to have to break off Justin Herbert. They also have a one-year lead or one-year gap, so to speak. Baltimore is going to have to spend so much money to pay Lamar Jackson. Um, I think of Kansas City. They just had to pay Patrick Mahomes. So the financial freedom that Mac Jones is going to give this football team moving forward while playing at a very high level is another kind of moment or representation of why it is going to look similar to Tom Brady's time. I also look at the money that they spent this past year and going Hunter Henry starting to play good football. John o. Smith starting to play good football. Matthew Judon, in a lot of people's eyes, is the best free agent signing of the offseason. So I just think Bill Belichick has done a fantastic job with this football team. I think they're going to make the playoffs, and I think they can win a Super Bowl with Mac Jones as their starting quarterback. Listen, I agree with a lot of the points that Dan just made. Okay. I, I think the huge part of this is the rookie contract because, Stephen, as we know, when you're on a rookie contract, it allows you to do things as far as roster management that guys who are, uh, you know, guys like Patrick Mahomes, Josh Allen, th okay. those organizations can't do that because you're paying so much to your quarterback. So with Mac, with Mac Jones playing as well as he is right now, mm -hmm. this dude is only going to get better. And Newling is only going to be able to add more peace mm -hmm. around him because he's on his rookie contract. That's number one. Okay. Number two, when you're looking at the AFC, there's a lot of parity in the AFC right mm -hmm. now. People talk about Buffalo. Mm -hmm. People talk about, you know, the, the Baltimore Ravens, the Cincinnati Bengals. It seems like every week we say this team is the top yeah. team, and then guess what happens? They lose. Yeah. Yeah. That's what's happening in the AFC right now. Sure. So when you're looking at the New England Patriots, think about it. They just went on the road and beat the Los Angeles Chargers to, uh, uh, you know, going – Head going up against a guy in Justin Herbert, mm -hmm. who we've lauded. I've lauded many yeah. a time. Love that was a really I mean, that's a big, that's a, that's yeah. a big, that's a big, that's a big time win by okay. the New England Patriots. So, let, by let me, no me, means is is it you know Bill Belichick and the New England Patriots. That, that's ridiculous. Let me let me let me chime in here, and be somewhat of a contrarian because I want to get time in to give it back to you and mm -hmm. Dan real quick. I have the ultimate faith in Bill Belichick, the coach. I think that man could win another Super Bowl. I think this year he's just reminding us of his greatness as a coach, okay? I think he's phenomenal. Bill Belichick, the GM, the executive, I'm not so sure. Let's understand something. At some point in time, you got to have talent. Now, Mac Jones was a gimme. Now, I know we're going to give him credit for Mac Jones. He didn't move up to get Mac Jones. Mac Jones fell in his lap at number 15. Obviously, you know, Zach Wilson and Trey Lance and Trevor Lawrence and these boys, you know, uh, you know, they, they, were all, they were all gone, okay? And we get all of that. We understand that. He fell into Mississippi 15. The reason I say that is because, as you know, you know, they've had me down at Alabama a couple of times giving the speech motivation to the players, okay? And I happen to know how close Bill Belichick and Nick Saban are. 
All right? And so when you take that into consideration and the fact that he's had a few visits down there and he's fully aware of who Mac Jones is and all Mac Jones brings to the table, I mean, damn, it didn't take Einstein for you to grab the reigning national champion at the quarterback position who came out of college not only winning the national championship but completing 77% of his passes his last year at Alabama. 14 teams passed so, on him. There we go. I understand that. But that's what I'm saying. They passed on him. So if you Bill Belichick, of course you go grab him. All right? Here's my issue. We got Janu Smith. We got Jacoby Myers, Kendrick Bourne, cats like that. There's no DK Metcalf on there. There's no A.J. Brown on there. There's a couple of people that Bill Belichick has passed on. If you look at his history of drafting, particularly at the wideout spots, it's been a challenge for him, to say the least. All I'm trying to say is that the coach, somebody that I have the ultimate faith that can do the yeah. most with limited assets, is Bill Belichick. Uh, but well, I don't know. Let me do a little more than that. You're not giving enough credit about the Mac Jones pick, though. Okay, let me let me let me say this. Let me let me rebut and refute what yeah. you let me refute the, what you know what you just said right okay. here. Okay, sure. For, from a guy who played with the Patriots organization for five years, four years with mm -hmm. Bill Belichick, the one thing that that's the one thing about the Patriots organization, a lot of a lot of the times throughout their whole dynasty, normally was never the most talented team. If you break their, if you break down their, break them down in of individual course. parts, they were never the most talented team. Yeah. But that's not Bill Belichick's mantra. I know. His whole thing has always been each individual. If you do your job, yeah. do what I ask you to do. Each of you do your job the way what I ask you to do. Then collectively, we're going to be one of the best teams in the league because yeah. I'm going to outcoach whoever the opposing team is. Absolutely. That's the way New England operates. So this whole notion of, yes, I understand Bill Belichick is not the best GM. Yeah. And I give credence to that. But when it comes to putting, you know, putting a culture together no. and having players buy in, right. yeah. there's no one better. I got to give him credit for just landing a franchise quarterback. And not everybody yeah. saw Mac Jones. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.